Welcome back to Long Story Short with Linda and Katie. Today we're going to talk about Boogly Boogly. <laughs> short with Linda and Kaylee um, today we have a few things planned one of them being reacting to Jojo Siwa's music video of guilty pleasure Michelle Visage at the end of Drag Race videos. Hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay sh That's what she says at the end of it. That's what I felt. I feel like it was a good song if you're in elementary school. <laughs> Why is everything bedazzled? That's her brand. And have you seen that she, SNL? She said she wants to rebrand. I know that, but have you seen that SNL thing where, some, where they were making fun of her? And Quit a big change. I used to be rainbow sparkles and now I'm black sparkles. Dying laughing. She didn't like it. <laughs> what the f her name? Jo Jojo. Jojo with the bobo. Jojo went on this f***ing podcast with this dumb guy. Okay, he's not dumb. I, just, I don't know him. He was like, so how do you feel that Tana made that TikTok? And she was like, well, I mean, I don't, she was like, I don't really care. Like, it doesn't really bug me. Um, and then he was like, well, what do you think about James Charles? He was, she was like, oh, I don't really mind about James Charles because he texted me and asked me if he could post it. And then Tana went on her podcast and was like, and was like, I, why would I text you and ask for permission if everybody's in on this joke? What was it even, oh, Tana was asking her if she ever took like a perk or anything. <laughs> yeah. I just don't like the zoom-ins on her crotch. <laughs> but I like the song better than Karma. And then like the, the, you know what she's saying? The only thing I saw was that her tampon fell out during the music video. When? Well, you know the scene where she like looked like an angel and she had like all the nuns and stuff? Which I didn't like There was nuns? It was nuns and priests. Did you not know this? No. Bro, you're f***ing <laughs> blind. I just want to know what the deal was with the teddy bears. Anyways, we wish Jojo the best. Yeah, shout out Jojo. Anyways, have you guys heard of those shark attacks that are happening down the coast? Crazy. And you want to move to the beach. Guys, I have to confess something. I want to go live by the beach. Well, I've never been to the ocean. You've been that one time. To Corpus. That was not Corpus. Oh, well, that was Galveston. and It was in January, so we didn't even go to the beach. We just drove past it. You're like swimming, swimming, and all flat out. Oh. Get a big old gulp of salt water in your mouth and you're like, Wah! Let me tell y'all a little tip. If you guys don't like the taste of salt water and you guys want to go swim in the ocean, take a pack of mint gum and chew your the mint gum so when the salt water gets in your mouth, it's diluted by a lot. I have a story for you. My nanny has a dog that like stays in here and stuff and the dog is super annoying when customers come. So then my nanny and Papa think, oh, well, let's just spray the dog with water. Anyways, <laughs> instead of just taking the dog up to the house or leaving it in the other office, we put it out right in the main office. So Denver and Allie love to spray Willow with water. So Denver will run from the house if he hears somebody. 
and he'll be like, give me your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> little girl came in. She's like four or five. I don't know how old she is. And so she walks in and there's a big glass that I have to get. It's like this big and it's like kind of, so it's just like this, like I'm just holding it, okay? And I'm waiting on the mom to pay and I'm sat there and I'm sat there and I'm like, hey, what's your name? Like talking to the little girl because she now has the water bottle and she is dousing Willow for no reason that Willow isn't barking at this point. Willow sat there like this. So Willow is sat there and is like, <laughs> can, can somebody get this little? Oh. Well, moments before this, Dimmer had sprayed me making a joke. Cause why? He's a <laughs> little shrimp. <laughs> And so now I have water all over me. She's like, what'd you get water on you from? And I was like, oh, well, the little boy sprayed me. She's like, ah ha ha. Spray, 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 spray. And I'm like, Nanny, like, help me. I can't <laughs> knock this kid out with the glass, bro, what? Like, I'll break the glass. Shout out to that little girl. And then her mom is like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. What do you mean? Because my mom was like, oh, she sprayed Kaylee and was laughing. And then the mom is just going, oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing happened to your daughter, ma'am. Your daughter is a nuisance to society and sprayed me. <laughs> and then the mom is like, well, now we're going to go to Chuck E. Cheese because she's been such a good girl today. Good girl where? <laughs> me and Kaylee were talking about parenting the other day. For <laughs> no other reason. Okay, I'm going to give you a scenario. And you're gonna tell me how you how you would handle it. There's this kid who's six years old, and he's screaming at the dinner table at a restaurant. What do you do? Is it my kid? Yeah. Oh, I'm walking him out of the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like like whatever I owe plus the twenty percent I'm paying, we're leaving, and he's not allowed back out for a little while. No phones, no games. You're gonna sit on the <laughs> couch. Or you're gonna go dig a hole. Ooh, I like that idea of digging a hole. Would you have dug the hole? Would I rather do <laughs> hours worth of labor or would I get five minutes of pain? I probably would do the five minutes of pain. I'd be like, go, go out here. You're gonna go dig me a little four by four hole. Go four by four. What kind of <laughs> garden? One, two, three, four, four inches. That's a huge bitch. Four inches? I was saying four foot. Oh, four by four. Okay. What would you do? Are you like, honey? Shh. My kids are just perfect. They would have never done that. I'm just kidding. But if they did decide to do that, I think I'd take them to the bathroom and be like, okay, this is not okay to do. Oh, there's other people around. You're embarrassing me. And then we go back. And if he comes back down, we stay, and if he continues to scream, I take him again to the bathroom. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me. And I'm like, hey, it's not, that's not okay. I already told you once. The next time I tell you, we have to leave. You're giving him three times. Yes. But again, my kid would have never gotten there. You don't God, know. I hope not. You don't know that. Let's say that you're with your husband. And are you guys talking about what you guys should do? Or are you guys just, are you just doing it? In that moment, there's no like question about what we're going to do because this kid is six. We've already set our boundaries about what we're doing before we have kids. Yeah, like what if he's like, hey, I don't feel comfortable with you like picking up the kid in the middle of the table in front of my friends and like just leaving. I'd be like, great, let's have a talk. What else do you want? You do it. Yeah, it's getting me wrong right now. When? <laughs> she's, she's like, get that kid out of here. I'm going to beat that kid. That is a kid. Where's that girl that sprayed me with water? Go dig a five by five hole. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. I feel like slapping across the face is a little degrading. Y no way. <laughs> da! Okay. Da. My story is, I don't have very like expressive, real, like feel like I'm in the moment dream. A real, I really real. don't dream. Like I don't remember dreams that much. And one of them was 
set in the future. There's multiple kids in the situation, okay? There's our best friend, Matt. Aww. There's Linda involved, and then there's all these <laughs> kids, okay? There was Kane, and then there was another little blonde-headed boy. I say little. They were grown. And then, all of a sudden, there's four that run in, at least, okay? One of them is Linda's daughter, who's like around the same age as Kane, like probably high school age, like 14, 15, 16, 17, somewhere around there, okay? And then there's like three others, okay? They get younger as they go. I didn't really ask the age, okay? I didn't really care. Because <laughs> in my dream, I knew them. I get a call and it's Kane and he's like, Kay, I need you to come pick me and da 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 up right now from the party. I need you to come get us right now. And I was like, okay, yeah. And Kane's like, you can't let our moms know. You can't let our moms know. And it's Kane and f***ing <laughs> Linda's eldest daughter. And then I woke up and I was like, what just happened? So automatically I call Linda and I'm like, I, God sent me a prophecy. <laughs> Obviously is the first thing I say. It's not the prophecy. God sent me a prophecy. You're going to have four kids. No. I don't know their names. Kane is going to have another little blonde-headed <laughs> little brother. No, I think they're going to have a girl next. We haven't heard anything new from Gypsy Rose. Mm-hmm. What's happened? That Kane was on Grindr. <laughs> Let's be so freaking for real. Gypsy, here's how you find out. Go to YouTube. Look up. Grinder notification noise. Sit right next to him. Play that noise if he looks and does this. Have what if you caught your husband and he was gay? What would you do? I'd be his friend. Obviously, we'd have to have a talk. Ah! But I'd be his friend. But he'd buy. A two people relationship. Uh, this so is you're not... you're outy. Yes. And him he's not allowed to him kids. cheating. Yes. Him obviously, I see that. Him but, him like, him. You wouldn't have a talk with him. Like like you wouldn't try to talk it through for the sake of the kids. No. Show is called How to Get Away with Murder? No, it's called Why Women Kill or How Women Kill. That's a movie? Kill. I mean, a show? It's a show. In three different decades through the same house, and it throws, or it shows three different women through their relationships. So one of them, her husband is cheating on her, and she befriends the mistress. And then the mistress gets pregnant, and then she kills her husband. It's like a whole ordeal, okay? Hey, yo. All while that's going on, it's also telling this story of this wife who finds out her husband is gay and then she starts having a secret affair with her best friend's son <gasps> she's like 50 something and he's 18. oh and you know who the guy is oh. you know who the guy is oh, it's, no what the f <laughs> it's the guy from kicking it snap out of it <laughs> yes no i'm nervous i was talking about the delulu that i I'm had earlier where i was like genuinely i was so delulu that I was like waking up every day and like my driving force to wake up was to see one man. He looked like the bulldogs bulldog from Paw Patrol. <laughs> what? He looked like that? F is for friends who do something good. Okay. <clears throat> Mascara or blush? Mascara. Lipstick or eyeliner? Lipstick. Contour or highlight? Contour. Eyeshadow or lip liner? Eyeshadow. Thank you. If you were to quit your job right now, what would your job be? What do you, if I was to quit my job right now, what would my job be? <laughs> Nothing, because I just quit my job. <laughs> Haley, what did you spiral about this week? I think it's still WWE. She's been upset with it and I've been wanting to f*** on my phone. Guys. Kill my no, 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 no. <laughs> she took him back. Wait a minute. It's all life. fake. Yeah, no, dip, dip. <laughs> I'm the one that watches it. I know it's fake. What's your favorite Bible verse? 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Let all that you do be in love. Just because I've always, I mean, I think it really spoke to me at that time because I was constantly getting told by people like, you love too hard. Your love is weird. Why do you love like this? <laughs> You're in love with me. Um, my favorite, my favorite Bible verse is 
right now, I think it's John chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Yes, my Bible, it says you must suffer. It says, I'm telling you, they, I tell you these things so you can have peace. I think the reason why it like spoke to me was, one, he's a reliable God. He reminds us where we can find peace during the suffering. And he reminds us to cheer up even during when we suffer because he has already defeated the world. My dad dipped. I had a lot of the unforsaken Coca-Cola growing up. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh no! No, 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 no! And then you wouldn't know because it's in a can so you drink it and then ha ha. You know that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Willie used to make backy balls and throw them at me. I need three names. Michael, Jane, and Raphael. I'm sorry. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here is your fortune, Linda. You're gonna marry Raphael. No! I want Michael! And you're gonna live in a mansion. A plane. <laughs> as transportation. And you're living in Costa Rica. And you have 11 kids. <laughs> Why do you have stickers to Del Rancho? <laughs> Stop. I said stop. When? You ruined my future. One, two, three. Guys, we lost the footage because my phone had too much storage, but basically my future was I end up with Stephen Salvatore in Italy in an apartment and we have five kids together and I have my own plane that I can fly to Linda in Costa Rica too, so. <laughs> just did it. I know. We just did it. I know, thank you for watching and subscribe. Okay. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch last week's video and all the videos before. I love you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>